Hey guys, Lonely Fanboy for you, and this update isn't doesn't really affect on my schedule of what I'm going to do in March, and I got everything planned out for April and May, which I'll get to soon. This, however, is about the discussion about my deletions on my reaction video on SpongeBob Goons on the Moon and my five West and my in four of my wrestling highlight videos. Now, after I completely finished Paul London and Brian Kedrick's WWE Championship win, I noticed that in my Google Drive, I was completely running out of space. I was at 70% and I have 30% left, and I didn't want to work on making another highlights video. I was about to make a top 5 John Morrison matches, single matches, but after what I saw, it really didn't give me second thoughts on to making another highlight video. And also the fact that the iPad that I'm using, I have been using a lot of storage constantly. Mainly because of the uploads on Google Drive and other stuff that I've been doing. The biggest problem that I have with my storage is probably because of the uploads that I've been going through when I upload my videos into other websites. Now, the thing is, let's just talk about YouTube for a second. Whoops, sorry. And it's copyright system. I pretty much knew this was going to be an issue with me ever since I began making YouTube videos. However, I, start, I decided to be very safe and I do slightly, slightly improvements on my channel during the following months. Mainly because I really don't want to work into getting a copyright strike. And it's, and I had that once. Mainly it's because of a mistake that I did in one video, but I don't have that copyright strike anymore. Now, as, as I mentioned as to other websites that I, I uploaded, I tried I tried to do daily motion, but with the new version of daily motion, I can't be able to make another account. Now, I did make an account on daily motion when I began my YouTube career. Mainly, it's for a backup in case if all my videos got terminated or something turns out terribly wrong on my YouTube channel. So, I had to make daily motion as a backup account to upload all my videos. And luckily, I didn't have an issue with my space on the storage on my iPad, which I'm actually kind of relieved. However, the new version came, which was in September 2007. All my videos was gone, and I was extremely upset because it was completely unacceptable, especially I was doing the same rules on YouTube. Daily Motion does have a copyright system, but oh my god. This is just, I was pretty upset, and YouTube, was the only video website that I have. So, for the last couple of days, I tried Toon.pk, another video sharing website where I upload three of my videos, but when I upload my third, my John Cena's third WWE Championship reign, it didn't upload because the video has to be two gigabytes in order to upload, while also under an hour. Yes, the biggest problem with that is that a video has to be under 2 gigabytes, and the biggest problem that I'm having is that the WWE highlight videos that I made, including the reaction videos, were really full of gigabytes, and I really, really hate that. I know there was a lot going on, like the apps and stuff, but this really ticked me off. I mean, in YouTube, you don't have any limitations, but on other websites, you do. I tried to have the video being uploaded counts, the, counts so many times to the point that I'm actually surprised that my other three videos, the Brian Kendrick one, the top five women matches, and my reaction video on the Spongebob season 11 episode walked. However, above two gigabytes, uh, I really, I really hate that the fact that the videos that I made is 
just causes a lot of gigabytes which really ticks me off so much because when I make my stand videos which is basically me showing pictures and stuff and moving the thing which is actually kind of lazy but at the same time better than nothing it was less than a hundred middle meter bytes or whatever you call it so I just don't understand why the heck movement is such an expensive and really space consuming thing when it comes to making highlight videos I tried to do other websites but the copyright claim thing will probably be an issue there and I think the reason why no one has doing I think I learned a lesson that the reason why no one has did other websites mainly daily motion and others is because of the rules and limitations that daily motion had I know people want to use YouTube because YouTube is the main video sharing website but at the same time daily motion was like something I can use for a backup just in case just because I don't have a storage memory for all my videos because that would be very complicated to do but the more I learn I can fully understand and what's worse is that whether I upload a video which is my wrestling highlights on 2.pk it still will qualify as using my storage on my iPad which really which is really really stupid because when I upload a video and it stays on for long enough and I delete the video that I have on my photos it will still qualify as using my space the reason why this is an issue is because I'm having I'm just trying to get myself prepared for MLP month I didn't start any videos yet but I'm about to soon on this month and it will be uploaded in 2000 in May in March sorry and when I'm having this situation, when it's getting this close to my limit, I'm really getting furious to the point that I actually only wish that the copyright system would stop being extremely cruel. Yes, I can understand that copyright is supposed to be a thing that companies like WWE don't want to show the products to anyone because of spoilers and there will be no point on buying the DVD based on that thing, but... At the same time, in the early 2000s, in the late night, in the late two, in the 2000s or 2010s, is what I'm trying to say, it, YouTube was like a really good website during its time when copyright copyright wasn't a big issue, and the fact that there were so many options that we get to see, and I really like seeing old videos like old WWE highlights and. Someone made a long video involving Chris Jericho's WWE Championship wins in WWE. And I want to be kind of like them, but also showcasing that the fact that I can able to make videos with animations moving with music in the background. Now, my goal, now, when I made that AJ Styles WWE Championship Wayne video, which is still in my Google Drive, I want to show everyone that I'm actually a good editor, even if this isn't the best. I mean, the software that I have for making this was Splice and iMovie. And I need iMovie for background music. However, after doing John Cena's NXT Women's and the Tag Team Championship ones, it really goes to show that I was just trying to add variety to my channel by adding other material like WWE and other stuff. Granted, people who watch my MLP and the Cross Your Girl videos aren't a fan of that, but I want to get as different subscribers as possible. That's basically my goal. But at the same time, it will be a variety of things, but completely screwed up at the same time because my channel will be completely unfocused so I'm really sorry but I had to delete four of the five wrestling highlights on my Google Drive because it was taking up a lot of space on my storage and my Google Drive and I had to delete my you know my reaction on Goons on the Moon 
I'm sorry, but I was about, the thing is, when I do reactions, it's either something off of YouTube, since that sometimes copyright won't be a big issue if so, if it's actually done by original work, like live action, or if it's everything wrong with something. But when you react to something that's from TV, and you upload it on YouTube and it gets copyright and you might get a strike, you need to have second thoughts into not getting a copyright strike, otherwise your channel will be terminated, which I really despise a lot. So which means, yes, for any of you guys who comment down on my uh, reactions on the Spongebob episodes, I'm not going to be reacting to any of the Spongebob episodes from season 11. Besides, I don't plan on doing it as soon as possible because I have everything scheduled out. And as for the Equestria Girl Spring Break special reaction, I decided to scrap that too since it's going to be a 44 minute special and my video is probably going to be more than 50 minutes, which I am not going to work on making a video on. I mean, I did that once with season 8, but due to copyright again, it didn't last long. But I will try to do some reviews in those episodes in some form in order to have some occupation for my subscribers who completely watch my videos. But then again, it's not going to happen like during the summer. I'm sorry, but I have a lot going on which I'll get to later. Anyway, I really hope you really understand on to why I delete all my wrestling highlights. And keep in mind... I completely really want to make more of these because I actually kind of enjoy them so much to the point that I really love doing them. But ever since I uploaded my Brian Kendrick and Paul London highlight video, the space that I'm getting is completely low and it's starting to get really, really worse to the point that I'm into a predicament. I really hate how I'm getting to these predicaments and of how it just gets really complicated no matter what. I just really hate that. And it really shows that YouTube and uploading different things that you want to do just hasn't been the same. I just really hate how I always get myself into these situations and whether I try to prove to them that I do not own anything and always give copyright to the companies, it will still be taken down no matter what. That's something that is very unacceptable. So if any of you guys are wondering about me doing reactions on shorts, then I'm sorry. And besides, whenever I do reactions, again, it's off of YouTube. And if it's something from a short like Twilight, like the Al, the Al. Elkhorn, which is the short that came out today from MLP. To me, it's really nothing special because I don't review shorts from MLP because I'm completely lazy on reviewing episodes. Because MLP is a TV show, while Across the Course has shorts to keep us occupied until the specials comes out. Just keep this in mind that I'm only reviewing the Across the Course shorts because it's literally the only thing that I can do involving the classic girls and my thoughts on the shorts. And besides, doing a review on the shorts is probably slightly better than doing reactions on them because of copyright being more avoidable than usual. And as for background music, I, tr I was willing to put a lot of background music in all my videos, but that's way too complicated me to handle. And besides, it would probably take up a lot of time. I mean, sure, I don't need to upload my video as fast as possible, but at the same time, I really need to at least get it over with it so I don't have to worry about it later on. Now, with some good news, after MLP month, not right away, but I am going to do a marathon of both shows from Disney Channel. That's a Raven and Hannah Montana. No, as for iCarly, I'm sorry, that's going to have to wait for a bit longer. But anyways, when I was trying to download all my wrestling highlight videos, I, d I completely downloaded an app where it has a superior downloader, and I tried to 
do some tests on the downloading on my Wesley highlights from my Google Drive and it worked. And then I tried to do a downloading thing off of an episode from a website where it has several shows and TV episodes. So I tried to do that on That's a Raven and I managed to download an episode. Now, I kind of did that with my laptop I had during school time. However, the difference with that is, is that it was a laptop. I really didn't know much to do with the iPad that I have. And it's been almost three years since I had this iPad. And I'm actually kind of extremely happy that I can manage to download that So Raven and Hannah Montana episodes. And that includes other episodes, but that will be for a different story. The problem is that I had to at least make sure that there's no pauses or anything involving me reviewing episodes from live action or TV shows because I have to go to a website and no matter what, I have to record everything. Um, I had to stop to a point on showing uh, what the characters are going to look or do and then record my voice. That's something that I can't stand, especially that the website that I went on was going to be a nightmare, which which is why I had second thoughts on doing episodes from TV sitcoms or cartoons. I mean, yes, doing reviews on several photos is kind of cheap, but it's literally the only way to upload your videos onto YouTube. So after MLP month is over, despite me doing the Question Girl shorts, I would do my reviews on the Hannah Montana and That's So Raven shows. But the way I want to do them is that instead of going through one show and going to the next, like do four seasons and then get to the next four seasons, I decided to do one season in to both shows at a time. Since that both shows have four seasons, I can able to do a fairly equal reviewing strategy by reviewing one season from That's So Raven and then do another season from Hannah Montana and then after that, I'll do the same for season two, season three, and season four. So that's what I'm going to do. And keep in mind that if you guys don't like me reviewing live action sitcoms, keep in mind that I'm trying to do something completely different like no one has ever done, which is reviewing episodes from That's So Raven and Hannah Montana reviews episodes. And I only did two for That's So Raven, but not much for Hannah Montana. And considering the fact that Hannah Montana is a mixed bag, I think it would be kind of fun to do some reviews on Hannah Montana, similar to when I do ones for iCarly and Drake and Josh. I've been I've been dying to do a review on Disney's channel sitcoms ever since 2017, and hopefully after May, after March, which is going to be my little poem month, that will easily happen. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I. Wish that I can able to continue the strategy. At least I got something good out of it. And that's an app that I can able to download episodes from TV shows. But no, and no, I'm not going to upload the episodes on different accounts. Because that would be kind of stupid. And I only download them just to review them. And try to save my own stress. In order to not go through a lot of painful situations. Like I've been through throughout this throughout the last couple of days of going through this situation. Again, sorry I deleted what I have, but it's for the best. I'm still going to keep the AJ Styles video up because I'm a fan of AJ Styles and I completely loved making that video despite it took a month to take care of. Especially that I need to find all the best quality matches even if my iPad drops the quality. Anyway, I'm only fan of Floyd Hill, and I'm still making Milo Pony Month happening in March. See you next time.